As uh, we announced last night uh, during the game, we signed our, our second round pick, Gunnar Henderson, sitting with me here. And uh, you know, this is uh, another big day and a, a big week for the future of this franchise. Um, very thrilled to have uh, selected and, and signed Gunnar um, with the 42nd pick. This, I think we were very lucky to get him at that spot. Um, this is a, a very talented young shortstop, um, still 17 years old. I think his birthday is this weekend, actually. Yes, and um, uh, somebody that we've been following uh, since the showcase circuit opened up uh, last summer. Um, our scouting department spent a lot of time focusing on him, uh, following him throughout the year and throughout the, uh, uh, the prior summer. Um, Dave Jennings, our, uh, our signing scout, um, spent a lot of time uh, studying him and, and providing all the information that we need to uh, make this evaluation. Um, and uh, you know, this is the type of talent that we want to be bringing in to an organization um, that's uh, in the process of, of adding the best young players that we can. Um, so he's going to be uh, heading to Sarasota to join the, the GCL squad and um, starting his development path from there. So um, we'd like to welcome the, the Henderson family as well to Baltimore. Um, comes from a great family, been raised well. His brother just uh, finished playing in the College World Series. And his younger brother is actually a big Oriole fan already. So I'm, I'm sure that uh, that's only going to increase with time. But uh, very pleased to welcome them to this organization and uh, look forward to uh, guiding Gunner's career and, and following him going forward. So um, now I'd like to present Gunner with his first Orioles jersey. say before questions I'd just like to thank my family and everybody else that's helped me to reach this point and this just a start can't wait to get started down in Florida and hopefully make it up here to Camden Yards in a few years I started, uh, as soon as the draft night ended, I just started praying for a clear path and to pray with my family and talk with them. And my older brother, he told me he was going to be proud of me whichever way I went. And that just made it a little bit easier. And I had some friends, and they were just supportive of my decision. And God just gave me the clear path, and I felt like it was the right decision. Well, he was, um, you know, we, we, we stack up the board with, with draft magnets in order of talent, and he was uh, the, the best talent left on our board, um, I think, by a good bit. And so it was just a matter of whether we were going to be able to sign him, um, you know, with the, the assigned value of that pick. And obviously, we figured out a way to make it work. Um, very happy that uh, we did so. I think it's, uh, it's going to be great for both parties. He's going to have a chance to uh, develop in a, um, you know, a pro environment and uh, accelerate his path to the major leagues. And you know we're also an organization that's in a lot of need for talented young infielders. So I think it was just a really good fit all around. And um, you know we, we had a, a, a good back and forth with um, his representation. Larry Reynolds um, is here. And um, you know everything worked out really well. So just really excited to send him out. Dan Conway, yeah, Kind of the flip side question for you, Gunnar. Um, you're seeing it on the draft day. What was that like for you? And is there motivation that you know that you had 40 some 
Uh, yes, sir. There's motivation, but I've had self-driven uh, work ethic all, my whole life, so it didn't. I was going to work hard as I can, whichever way it went. But luckily, I fell to the organization, and it was it's kind of a coincidence because my younger brother he grew up an Orioles fan, and just get drafted by him is it's weird, but a blessing. Stan, Stan Charles with PressBoxOnline.com, Mike. What percentage would you say you were certain you could get this done to take such a valuable pick and use it on a guy who has a leverage? Yeah, it's never a hundred, and especially you know when it's a, a young kid with a, a with good grades and a college commitment um, and a and a choice. You know, you're you're prepared for the outcome of uh, you know not working out. But um, you know, we we use our um, preparation and and you know kind of our scouts feel and you know our experience, and and we take a calculated risk when we select a player like that. But uh, you know, the important thing is. Um, you know, everything worked out in this case, and I think, you know, it's, uh, it's just, he's a huge part of our draft class. I'm really excited about it. Joe? Uh, Joe Dresden, you said you were self motivated. Where, where is that motivation come from? Um, can you just give us a little background on your upbringing and your childhood and, and where, where you come from? Yeah, sir. Well, it started out, my older brother and I, we would play pretty much every sport together from soccer to football, basketball. And then growing up, my dad built a baseball field behind our house. So that's where the travel ball started and City League. We just played back there. We'd go and practice every day. And my older brother and I, would we were competitive growing up. So everything, we try to do better than each other. So that, that helped. And then we, then Kay came along. And we were bringing him up and just growing up together and competing. It just instilled a great work, that work ethic. And then my dad teaching me, my mom and dad teaching me to never give up and just work your hardest and that's the only thing that will stay constant because you can't control what else happens, but you can always work your hardest. Nathan Ruiz, Baltimore Sun. Gunner getting to play with Jackson a lot growing up. Is that maybe the hardest part of this, that you had a chance to go play with him again and you're passing on it? Yes, sir. I had the opportunity to play with him in eighth and ninth grade and then having the opportunity to play with him in college was a, it was a, I would have loved to do that, but he was supportive of my decision and just made it easier for myself. It you know it varies player to player, but certainly this first summer is just about getting used to uh, pro ball. Um, you know, seeing our complex, uh, meeting other players in the organization, getting some some pro at bats. I, I imagine he'll spend uh, most, if not all, the summer with with uh, the GCL. I think that's a norm for a, a high school kid, especially one as, as young as he is. And then you know, next year we take it from there. And there's all kinds of uh, you know paths that 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 kids take, and it just depends on on how they do and where they're at, and um, you know the 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 growth curve. But um, I think this summer will be very important for him, just just getting acclimated to the pro game. I think we're very fortunate um, nowadays in in uh, the baseball world. You know, he had a very full summer. He did all the top events, and he's hitting with wood all summer. He's traveling all summer. He's playing with kids that end up signing with other organizations. So, uh, you know, he's not going to be foreign to to um, the the process. I think that's going to give him a nice nice footing. Well, uh, you know, it's a little bit of everything in terms of we got to work within our, our pool. Um, and, you know, typically high school players will command a, a higher bonus because they have, uh, you know, the college commitment ahead of them. Um, but also that was it was the board, too. And we did, you know, we, we signed another high school infielder in the fifth round and pleased about that. Um, and I, I don't think, uh, you know, you look across the league, having two high school picks out of your top ten, that, that's probably pretty normal. So um, I think it's a really good blend. Some some youth and then some college guys. Nathan, Gunner, you have any big birthday plans? I'm gonna spend it playing baseball. That's, <laughs> that's about it. That's, that's the best one. Dan, Gunner, some some scouts have said you know he could stick at shortstop, but he's big enough that he can move over and close out a little more and play third base. Where do you see your 
yourself be appropriate as far as position? I see myself playing shortstop. I feel like I'm going to work hard and fill up my body and be able to get any ball in the hole. So I feel like I can stick there. It just depends on what happens and what all works out. Stan Charles again from PressBoxOnline.com. The, the moving to Woodbats, did it present any issues for you at all, or what, what were the differences? No, sir. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't that big of a change for me. Just finding the right model and, uh, I guess, weightness that fit better fit me. That was the biggest challenge, but I found it, and it's worked pretty well so far. Finding the sweet spot. Yes, sir. Joe? Just one more. He was actually a big fan of Manny Machado, and... When he left, he still stuck with him and has been a fan ever since. He came down draft night in his Orioles pajamas, saying that's how I was gonna, that's who was gonna get him. So. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.